In this video we will be discussing psoriasis. So what is psoriasis? Psoriasis is chronic non-infectious skin inflammation involving keratin synthesis. It results in psoriatic patches and it is typically not harmful to the individual. However, a break in skin integrity can lead to infection in the affected area. There are many forms of psoriasis that exist, but the most common form is vulgaris psoriasis. So what causes psoriasis? There are many causes for psoriasis, but some include stress, trauma, infection, hormonal changes, obesity, autoimmune reactions, climate changes, genetic predisposition, and it is also important to note that it is exasperated by some medication. An important uh, feature of psoriasis is the Kogner effect, Kog or Kogner phenomenon. And this is a phenomenon that is the, when uh, psoriatic lesions develop at a site of injury. And sites of injuries can include either just scratches or sunburned areas. And this is a good example of how what looks like a scratch has lead, led to psoriatic uh, lesions. Another important feature that one most likely won't think of when thinking of a, a skin disorder is arthritis. But in some individuals, psoriasis may lead to symptoms that resemble rheumatoid arthritis. The goal of therapy when treating arthritis, is, or when treating psoriasis, sorry, is often to reduce inflammation and reduce the pro proliferation of, of the cells that are affected. When assessing a patient with psoriasis, you'll find several things. Uh, itching is the first thing you'll find, as well as shedding of silvery white scales from red and brown plaque areas. These often include uh, the scalp, knees, elbows, sacral regions, as well as the extensor regions of your arms and legs. And extensor regions are basically the part of the skin above the muscle that is used to extend your leg. So basically the top of your thigh and the back of your arm. Uh, some more assessment findings include yellow discoloration pitting and thickening of nails if the psoriasis is near the nails, as well as what we discussed previously, joint pain with uh, psoriatic arthritis. There are several interventions a nurse can do, including the most important one, which is more most likely emotional support. Oftentimes people with psoriasis have a significant change in body image if it's in a prominent spot on their body that's not typically covered in clothes as well as decreased self-esteem. It is also important to instruct the client not to scratch and keep the areas lubricated as prescribed to reduce itching. Also it's important to monitor for signs secondary to psoriasis and this often includes infection if the patient is itching and they itch a an open wound into the area where they have psoriasis, this can act as a vector for infection. It's also important to instruct the client to wear light clothing over the affected areas and assist in stress reduction techniques if stress is one of the predisposing factors for their psoriasis.